The only thing you can do is truly encourage me, and I'm already stirred up. <laughs> so all you can do is add a little fuel to this fire, but you can't quench it. There ain't no way. Why? Because I did not wake up this morning for you to love me. I woke up to be more like him. Amen. <sighs> Wonder if you get renewed in the spirit of your mind. Wonder if you aren't conformed to the world, but transformed because you're thinking different. Wonder if the way becomes your way. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. So let's live the gospel. What do you say? Yeah. I don't know why I'm feeling this in my heart, but if you can, stand to your feet. I want to pray for everybody to some grace. Send grace coming over you guys. Yeah. Do you know what it means to lift your hands to the Lord? Is this a sign of yielding? You don't have to. But if you understand what it means and want to, not controlling you, if you want to, if you're uncomfortable, don't do it. Just step before the Lord and open your heart and be a yes to what you're hearing. I want to pray something. I don't know why. I just think we're honoring Him. I, I, don't, I don't even know that there's a faster way to stand and pray like this. I just felt it in my heart. I ask you to stand here. We are. But I'm feeling to ask you and invite you that if you know what it means to lift your hands, it's just a sign of yielding. It can actually be an expression of your yes. You say, God, you know what? I'm listening to this man, but I'm hearing what you're saying to my heart. And I want to give myself to these things apart from any other factor in my life. I'm done being ruled by men. I want you to decide my life from the inside out. So if you can, and if you want to, lift your hands. You don't have to. I'm going to pray a prayer right now that I just feel like it's vital. Father, I just thank you for grace in this room. We just say yes to you. Whether our hands are raised or not, I believe there is a big corporate yes in this room. And I just thank you for the message, the word of truth that sets men free. And I just pray for that freedom to so grip our hearts tonight. Lord, I pray that you mark us with these convictions. I'm asking you, Lord God, that as we're standing with our eyes toward you and our hands raised up and our hearts before you, that you would mark us with these convictions. That it would be very difficult to walk out of here and find ourselves thinking the same things, the old way, the other stuff. Lord God, I'm asking you to mark us tonight with a conviction that begins to change our lives through and through. We're asking for your grace in our life that we can walk out these truths, that our lives could become this way, this expression, and this free. And Lord God, we just release everyone right now. And the best we understand in this room, we say no one owes us a thing. And we owe no man anything but to love. So keep teaching us love. Mark us with it. And give us understanding. And we thank you for it in Jesus' holy, precious yes. name. Yes. Amen. 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 Just stay standing for a second. I want to pray something. Father, I thank you for the restoration of marriages through and through. I pray, Lord God, that people tonight, whether their spouse is here or not, would be uh, a vessel and an instrument in the restoration. I pray that you form Christ in us in such a way that you cease animosity in the homes. If there's families here that are on the brink of separation, I pray for like this amazing rejoining, Lord God, that would take place through the truth of your word. And Lord God, I pray that houses and homes and, and, and families would be healed and restored, that peace would come and replace the chaos. And Lord God, I pray that you would reignite and rejuvenate hearts towards one another in true love. Thank you, I ask you, God, in Jesus' name, and I thank you for the restoration of hearts. Amen. 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 All right. All right. I'm going to do something quick. We're going to close out. Uh, you're all standing. I'll leave you standing. If, if you, we're going to do it different than we did last night. We took time. We're going to do just do a little more corporate. I want, I want to just pray for everybody in the house. If you have any need in your physical body of healing and you would want prayer, let's see who you are. Look around, people. If you're standing near somebody and you got their hand up, grab their hand. If you want to pray for anybody, you got to grab their hand. Don't pray yet. We'll pray in a second. Just grab their hand. Find them. Find them. If you want prayer for anything tonight, raise your hand, please. You can whisper to them and ask them, hey, what'd you raise your hand for? Could you tell me? Just tell them real quick what you're praying for. Get, get somebody's hand. Talk to them. Ask them. Find them. There's a guy up there. He's got his hand up. Oh, he's the violin man. Come on. There's two guys up there with their hands raised. Can somebody make sure they pray with them? Okay, let's pray right now. Just pray. 
You, they told you what it was. Just be whole, be healed, speak out their situation. Let's believe all through the river. Don't be afraid to believe God. Father, we thank you for healing and restoration tonight. We thank you for complete wholeness. We thank you for all this healing. Lord, thank you for complete change. Lord God, we just thank you right now. Yep. Be healed in Jesus' name. So go ahead and just receive God's love if we're praying for you. If we're praying for you, just believe He loves you. And thank Him for His love. 